Okay, my Kayla crew, please tell me I'm not alone in this. Whenever I'm online shopping, and actually in store for that matter too, I can't just buy one thing. It's just not possible. I mean, I guess if I really tried, it could be, but you know, you go online and you see something you like and I'm like, what else can I add to my cart? And it really gets me when a store offers free shipping when you reach a certain amount, right? Yeah, I just can't buy one thing. I saw something I liked on Walmart's website and that led to me, you saw my thumbnail, I have a box and two bags full of clothes here. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Am I alone in that? Please tell me I'm not alone. I just can't help myself. So let's jump in and see what I bought. Okay, so I did purchase everything online. I will list all of the items below and anything that's still available, I'll leave a link for below too in the description box. And I didn't put names of the sweaters on here, but most of the items I purchased were by the brand Sofia Vergara. I did purchase a couple items from Scoop too, but I'll tell you which is which as we go through. This first one is by Sofia Vergara and the fabric is 61% cotton, 21% polyester, 16% recycled nylon, and 2% spandex. I did pick it up in my normal size extra large. This was $29. That's what the tag said. I think it was on sale though. And it was made in China. You can machine wash this in cold water. I thought this would be really pretty as we're heading towards spring. I know we've got quite a ways to go, but I just loved the fun colors. I want to come close so you can see the colors in this sweater. It's got a nice neckline almost a V, right? So look at the pretty colors though. Aren't they fun? We've got some like pinks and a little, is it purple too? Orange. We've got a little bit of cream. I love it. So fun. And I love the knit of it too. It's kind of got a different design at the top and the bottom area and then across here. I know some people might not like that, but I think it's kind of fun. What do you think? And then it does have the um, little bit of like a balloon sleeve. I love a good sleeve detail. You guys know that. I know some of you are saying it's going to go out of style. I don't care. I'm going to wear it. I still love it. So you can see it kind of, you know, it's a little bit tighter here in the wrist area, creating that, you know, balloon sleeve. So I thought the colors were so much fun. I just had to add it to my closet and it's something different, right? It does have slits on both sides of the sweater and I'm going to show you the back. A little bit shorter than normal, but not too, too short. So I'm a happy camper. This one's a keeper, and I'm going to change and show you the next piece. Okay, another sweater by Sofia Vergara. Can you tell when I was doing my shopping, I was in the mood for sweaters, but in lighter and brighter colors. So isn't this one fun too? So I really like the style of this one. Let me tell you, I told you who it's by. Uh, this one is 73% polyester and 27% cotton. This was made in China and you can machine wash this in cold water. This one was $32. Some of these pieces must have been on sale though because my total wasn't too high. I think it was like $150 or around that price. Um, and this one I picked up in a size large. This was one of the pieces that I read the reviews online and it said it didn't run true to size. It ran a bit large. So I sized down, but I think I would have liked it in my normal size extra large. This one fits, but because it has some cotton in it, I think I probably would like my, extra, my normal size extra large. What do you think? So I want to come close so you can see the neckline and the colors. You know what? You can get a better look by looking at, there you go, at the sleeve um, and the knit of it too. It's really, really pretty. Love the soft kind of like cream and ivory mixture. Isn't that really nice? Um, it is a bit sheer though. You can see my bra and you can see like the band of my jean through. It does have a band of ribbing at the bottom of the sweater. Um, so what do you think? You guys know. Love a good sleeve detail. So I thought this one was really cute. Couldn't pass it up. I think I'm going to still keep this one, even though it's a bit sheer. Um, I don't think it's too, too sheer. Plus, I have my ring light on. So I think I'll be okay. Let me show you the back of it. Again, a little bit shorter, but not too, too short. So, yep, happy with this one. Okay, let me change to the next piece, and I'll be right back. Okay, the camera doesn't like red. Every time I try on red, it just kind of makes my face like super shiny. Well, I guess when I come close, it doesn't really do that too much. But like when I'm here, like look what it does to my face. So we're going to go with it. I tried on a red jacket in a trunk club box the other day and it had a hood on. And when I was watching back, I'm like, look what it did to your face. It made it really shiny and discolored. So anyway, we're going to go with it. This cardigan is also by Sofia Vergara. The fabric is 50% cotton, 30% polyester, 
20% nylon. It is an extra large and it was $29 made in China. You can machine wash this in cold water. I thought it was something different and cute and I love wearing red. I think red's a good color for me off camera. <laughs> So yeah, I really like it. I think the style is cute. Kind of has a little peplum at the bottom, but it doesn't go out too, too much because those types of peplum where it's really peplumy, I've said that before, I made up that word and we're going with it, peplumy. It just makes my hips look very, very wide. This one doesn't do that because it's not too exaggerated. Um, and it does have these buttons going all the way down, which I'm gonna come close so you can see. They're nice and sparkly, isn't that cute? Um, a V neckline, you could go ahead and throw a tank or a cami on underneath. How fun would it be to have like a pop of animal print coming out? I love red with animal print. I think it's such a fun look or a white one too if animal print's not your thing, or like pink around Valentine's Day. This would be a cute cardigan to wear around Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna come close again so you can see. It's got um, the tighter wrist area to kind of create a balloon sleeve. And then the cardigan is ribbed throughout. So yeah, it's a really, really cute cardigan. What do you think about it? So comfortable too. I'm happy with this purchase as well. Let me show you the back of it. I think this one came in a couple of other colors too. I think, I think both of the first sweaters did too. So you'll see that linked if they did. So yep, another win. Okay, I'll change and I'll be right back. Okay, another Sofia Vergara sweater. Now this one, I did size down to a large in because of the reviews. And this one I'm very happy I did because it is still a little bit oversized, but it's really nice and comfy and cozy. And yes, it's almost a turtleneck. I mean, I don't want to call it a turtleneck because you guys know I don't like turtlenecks, but I mean, it is. We got to call it what it is, but it's not too close to my neck, so I can actually stand this one. It's amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one, I think. So yeah, I think this one would look really cute. I have it on with jeans, but this would look cute with leggings. I actually just received a Dia & Co box and I purchased, or I'm going to purchase, a pair of faux suede leggings. And this sweater would look really cute with that with my riding boots and maybe a nice, I mean, I would probably wear a tassel style necklace with this. Yeah, I like this one, nice and super warm. Oh, I didn't tell you what it is, so I can put the paper down. 33% polyester, 33% recycled polyester, 21% acrylic, 10% nylon, and 3% wool. I already told you I sized down to an extra large, made in China. You have to hand wash this in cold water. I don't know why there's just a tiny bit of wool in this. A couple of you have asked me in my try-ons, what's the point of that small amount of wool? I have no idea either. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. So can't answer that for you. But anyway, what do you think? It does have a drop shoulder. I'll show you that while I'm close up. Um, what do you think? Is it flattering? I mean, it's gonna keep me nice and warm. When I did my order, it was a really bitter cold day and we're having another one of those bitter cold weekends. So, you know, I thought I better find some pieces because I don't have many, you know, warm, warm sweaters that I could throw on in case I have to like run out, especially with the dogs, you know, if it's super cold, we're not out there long, but they still gotta go out and do their business, you know? So we need warm pieces. You can kind of snuggle up with this one. Yeah, I think it's super cute. What do you think? I like it. All right, let me show you the back. I may actually pick this one up in another color too, because I can stand the neckline. It's not often that I can. So because I can, I'm gonna see what other colors they're offering in this. Yep, I am. It's nice and warm. It's actually too warm in this room. So I'm gonna go change and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, another Sofia Vergara piece. Now this one is made of 53% cotton, 28% polyester, 19% rayon. I did pick it up in a size 0X. It was made in China and you can machine wash this in cold water. I love the color of this top. I think it's super pretty. Now it is an off the shoulder top. I just pulled my bra strap down for the purpose of the try on. So it wouldn't be comfortable to go all day like that. So you'd want to wear either a strapless bra, which you know, might be a drawback for some people. I don't like wearing strapless bras, but for this one, I'd probably make an exception because I think the color is gorgeous. Isn't it a fun color? I want to come close so you could see it. it is ribbed throughout, kind of a, you know, very tiny ribbing detail. And then the sleeves are not ribbed. The sleeves are just solid fabric. And then it does have like a slight bell sleeve. Mm-hmm. Isn't it cute? 
So what do you think? Love, love, love the color of this one. I don't think I told you the price. I don't think I wrote down the price of this one. So I have to list that below. So I'm sorry about that. I think it was $29, but again, I'll list that below. So yeah, cute, cute, cute. This would be really fun with some larger statement earrings. With off the shoulder tops like this, I don't typically wear necklaces. I typically wear like statement earrings and it just gives it a fun look. Let me show you the back of this one. Yep, love the color. I just think it's so pretty, isn't it? And I don't have anything in this exact color, so I've been really trying to purchase pieces in colors that I don't have in my closet or don't have a ton of. So this is one of those colors. So, and I think it works really well. All right, I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, look what I finally ordered. The Scoop Moto Jacket, yes, and I am so happy I did. I think it's so cute. And this moto jacket was originally $40 and it was marked down when I purchased it. So I hope it still is. So if you're interested and you don't have it, pick one up because it's super cute, isn't it? Now it's made of 100% polyester and both the lining and the shell. I did stick with an extra large and you can machine wash this inside out in cold water and it was made in China. So I thought it was super cute. Yes, I have on some full leather leggings too. We'll talk about those in a second, but let's talk about the Moto first. I love the style of it. I think the fit is good. I wear my Moto jackets open. So yeah, I think it's adorable. It does have pockets. So it has zip pockets here on both sides. Can you see that? And then it has a zipper pocket here, a zipper pocket here, Oops, it was already unzipped, and so is that one. I left that one unzipped. Um, yeah, really super cute. Here's the wrist area where it has, oops, I forgot to take the paper off. I'm keeping this, so I'm taking it off. Um, the zipper here, so you can leave it unzipped, and it just kind of widens the sleeve a little bit. Super, super cute. It doesn't look like a $40 moto jacket, in my opinion. It looks like a more expensive moto jacket, so I'm so happy I finally purchased it. I kept forgetting, and this is actually what started the Walmart haul. Yep, the one item that I went to order and ended up with how many other pieces? Yeah, this was the one. So I can't wait to start wearing this. I think it's adorable. Oh, and we've got a more paper. There was paper on every single zipper pull. So I thought I got them all, but I missed a couple. All right, let me show you the back. All right, so very happy that I finally picked this one up. I love it, love it, love it. So thank you to all of you who encouraged me to order this one and I hope if you don't have it you check it out did I show you it zipped I don't wear my moto jacket zipped but we can we can try that out before we move on if you want to if I can there we go so that's what it looks I mean it is pulling a little bit but I'm keeping this one because I don't wear my jacket zipped I wear them unzipped, so it looks fine to me. So I'm, I don't care, I'm keeping it. All right, let me turn the camera down and we'll talk about the leggings. Okay, let's talk about the leggings. Now, I would typically wear a longer shirt with these leggings just for more coverage, but for the purpose of the try-on, I want you to get a better look at how they fit all the way around. So I just put on the top I had on in the intro because it's a little bit shorter, so you can see how it fits a bit better. Okay, these are also by the brand Scoop. The fabric is 92% polyester and 8% spandex. They aren't a size extra large. I think the fit is a, a nice on these two. Made in China, machine wash cold, inside out. And I forgot to write down the price on these. So I'll have to list that below. I think these fit nicely. I have a pair of faux leather leggings from Target. And now these, I'm like, you know what? Let me try a pair from Walmart. And I'm happy I did. These are a bit more shiny than the ones that I have from Target. If you want to try the faux leather, I'm gonna call it a trend, and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on like the Spanx, try these first and see if you actually like them before you invest in the Spanx. I know you could return the Spanx too, but this is a fun way to try it. Or if you don't wanna spend a ton of money or don't have a ton of money to spend on them, but you still wanna try the trend, you can pick these up from Target or Walmart. And I actually think I like these, the Walmart ones, better than the Target. The Target ones, to me, they fit nice, but they stretched out a bit. I don't think that these would. So, yeah, I am happy that I tried these. I think the length is pretty good. So, what do you think? Oh, i got to show you the back. So, again, I would wear a longer top for more coverage, but I wanted you to see how they fit in the back, too. 
happy with these. Definitely keeping these. So join me really quick and we'll do a recap. Okay, you know I always like to hear what your favorite piece was, if you had one. So as far as this haul, I don't think I'm returning anything. I think everything's staying with me. I am going to watch the footage back just to see, and I may change my mind once I do that. But as of right now, everything's going to stay with me. I'm very happy with my purchases, and I'm going back online because... I want another one of those turtleneck sweaters. Yeah, I don't think I'd call it a cowl neck because it didn't come far enough down to call it a cowl neck. I, it was a turtleneck, but it's one I can stand. So that's why I'm going on. So am I getting myself into another shopping trip? So you know I'm gonna look for more to add to my cart. It's a problem. Yep, it's a never ending problem that I have with shopping. I'm a shopaholic, but I admit it. And that's the first step, right? So. Yeah, I may have another Walmart haul to share with you. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll see you really soon for another video. I've got tons more clothing and fashion coming at you. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Until then, have a wonderful day.